But I gave you the option to drive me and you refused. <sighs> Come on, don't be naughty. Uh, yes. I, please, I'm driving. Please, please, I'm dry. I love you, I love you. Mwah, mwah. Let me concentrate. Please, I'm driving. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, can you go to the kitchen? Yeah, I have your favorite in the kitchen. Just make yourself comfortable till I come back, okay? Please, please. <laughs> Okay, just just get your food, eat, then you sleep. Oh, okay, okay. Baby, I love you. I said I love you. I love you so very much. I love you. Allow me to concentrate, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please help! Help! Oh, easy, easy, easy. 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 Thank you. At first. Calm down, calm down. I know how you feel. I'm going to be a father. Soon. Doctor, my wife, my baby. It's a baby boy. I told you! I told you I'm going to be a father! I'm a father! I'm a father! He's a boy! I have a, I have a son! I have a son! Oh, I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Excuse me, Dr. Johnson. I am done for the day. Uh, but sir, uh, it's very... I said I am done for the day!
Oh, she has messed up the sitting room. No, I'm so. No, I'm so. My friend, what are you doing here? Welcome, up, sir. These are my wife's things. Yes, sir. So what are you doing here? I'm trying to clean the room, sir. Who asked you to? Is it part of your job? But, sir, the room is untidy. Untidy? How? Oh, I've told you that your job in this house. It's Sandy. Look at her downstairs sleeping. She has messed her herself up with me. What if I can come back with the, with the guest? But sir, it is, it's... Uh... My friend, there, there, is, there is no... It's, 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 yeah. I have told you your job in this house is Sandy. Mm. I have warned you. I will not tell you again. Make sure she always stays inside her room. Am I honest, no? Mm. My friend, drop that thing. Now, get out. Get out. Good evening, sir. Am I supposed to give you a response? Mm, okay. I I just wanted to tell you I am quitting. What? What? Ah, uh, sir, I don't need up to two weeks to know your daughter is irreparable. Are you out of your mind? I paid you for six months. Send me your details and I get you refund. I'm done with your daughter. But you made me believe you could help. I thought so too, sir. But I think it's more spiritual than psychological. Maybe you take her to a church. Hey, hurry up, all right? I don't want us to be late. Are you still eating? How long will it take? 
I thought mommy is coming to the I told you she's not coming back. I'm sorry, right? Um, I have to go and get the car ready. Where's the sandal in your bag? Are they upstairs? Let me get them, alright? Impressive. Impressive CV, I must admit. I am very grateful, sir. Thank you. So, tell me, why do you think you're the best candidate for that um, position? Uh, sir, like I said in my CV, I studied at Albany Coco College of Education. I had my NCE in primary education studies bachelor in guidance and counseling and at my master's level i specialized in child psychology um practically there is no child even those with special needs that i cannot handle that is basically why you should hire me for the job sir yeah though i am overwhelmed by the plethora of awards loaded in your CV. I still can't fathom why, I mean, a master's degree holder as yourself would want to teach in a primary school. Sadly, sir, in our country, we reward the largeness of an office rather than the depth of service rendered. Unfortunately, yes. Well, folks like me, I, my motivation is not in the number of zeros I go home with every month, but the impact I make on lives. Hmm. That's impressive. So tell me, what are your expectations? Salary? Mm -hmm. A big money. <laughs> How was it? <clears throat> what happened? I mean the interview. Can you talk to me, please? Choose an eatery. Oh, really? Wow. Woo. Oh, all right. Rainbow Homes, thief. Please come take me to primary four class. Hold on. What is wrong with you? What? How much is the pay? Why do you ask? Because I recommended you for this job, so I deserve to know. I'm buying you lunch for two days. Isn't that enough gratitude? Huh? Or you want me to give you 10% of my salary? Of course not. I mean, I'm not God. 
Then chill. Talk to me. What is wrong with you? How much is the pay? Okay, it's up to 50k. <clears throat> 75. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? <laughs> is it poor? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, you said primary four, right? Yes, primary four. I'll take you there. Okay. So, Mr. Johnson, I asked the last time that um, you should come with her mother uh, before she could be registered. So, why is her mother not here? I told you she traveled. Yeah, you said so. I thought she should have been back by now. Um, she's not coming back anytime soon. So, for how long? So long. Um, uh, Mr. Sam, what is so tedious in registering a nine-year-old girl that I, the father, cannot do? You see, Mr. Johnson, the fact is that before we register any child, we will also see both parents. Even in the wake of divorce? Well, that's an exception. Then what are we saying? Are you divorced? What rubbish! What nonsense! What kind of rubbish? What is it? Will you keep quiet and sit down? Nonsense! Everybody, bring out your book. How is that possible? What's going on? Why are you all looking at me? Are you mad? Rubbish! Oh goodness! I can't take this. How can he offer to pay her 75,000 Naira? The same amount I earn? No. Don't take this. I will not take this. I will not take this. Mr. Sam, I insist my daughter is not getting into a lower class. She has to start from class five. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. But we cannot admit it that I need to Bezak 5. You have not given me any substantial reason. Well, Mr. Johnson, what other substantial reasons do you want me to give? When your daughter failed woefully on the test she took last week, what other substantial Reason or proof that you want me to prove to you? So you see, Mr. Johnson, your persistence in um, promoting your daughter into Berserk Five, um, knowing full, fully well that um, her foundation is so weak, trust me, this is going to affect her. Her future. Excuse me. She's my daughter. I should have her best interest at heart. I know, Mr. Johnson. You should have her best interest at heart. Uh, but trust me, your constant persistence alone um, tells me a different story about you. I beg your pardon. You see, <clears throat> let me reiterate this whole thing, Mr. Johnson. Uh, you see, um, once you bring your daughter to our school, it simply means that you are selling her uh, basic academic rights uh, to us to take uh, control over it. Um, but I still... Uh, Mr. Johnson, going through her records, her records here, yeah, man, there's truly nothing good, so... It shows how dumb your daughter is. So I am going to um, squeeze out the place to put her in um, standard three. And the only reason why I am going to do that, Mr. Johnson, is because of your constant um, assistance and support to me. But if you don't accept that, I think it will be better for you to, better still, take her to some other school and not my own school. 
I've done the transfer. Ah, uh, I, I just, I just saw the money. Oh yes. Sir, what is this for? You said you could take her on a private lesson, so she can cope in class five. Exactly, but this is way too much from what we've gained. Maybe your responsibilities would include staying with her in school until I come to pick her. She can be a handful. Does it also include bringing her back home because this is too much? No. Staying with her here in school until I come to pick her. Maybe once I'm close, you could leave. Thank you. What is wrong with you? Why would you offer to pay her 75,000 Naira? Why? Do you have a problem with that? I have a big problem with that. For crying out loud, you just employed her. Good. She shouldn't earn as much as I do. And she shouldn't earn more than you, Rita. Listen to me, Samuel. No, just, 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 please. Do you know the magnitude of job she is doing for those children? Do I do look you? like I care? I mean, I don't care. Rita, we shouldn't be talking about this outside here. To my office, please. No. Go! Okay, class. She is now one of us. Her name is Sandra Johnson. From today, henceforth, she is now a member of this class. Am I well understood? Yes. Very good. So what do you say to Sandra? Welcome, Sandra. That's very good. You're welcome. That's your locker over there. Go and sit down. <clears throat> Are you deaf? I said, that's your locker there. Go and sit down. Now! What is wrong with that? Rubbish. I'm sorry, please. I, I, I thought you were someone else. Sorry. She's here. Who are you talking about? The girl at the back. Oh, that one. I said hi to her and she didn't respond. She's obviously missing someone or missing some knots. Richard, don't say that about her. Do you know her too well? Or are you by any chance related to her? I am trying to tell you that she's one of the dumbest child I've ever seen in my life. And you're telling me not to say that. Why shouldn't I? No child is done. Mm -hmm. Maybe she needs more attention. That's her business. Don't care. Please, what do you want me to do for you? Please, eh? I need you to explain this. Babe, how was first that walk? It was okay. 
What is? Was okay. Jeez, John. How was it? I met this young girl. She seems like she's in a lot of pain. And... And... You can cut juice for Africa, my friend. Jeez, John. Stella, stop now. Be serious. Ah, no vex now. Uh -uh. Now continue. She seems lonely. And I would really love to help. I barely know her, but I'm drawn to her. Hmm. In that case, you will love Dr. Johnson. Because it's obvious you love people who are sad, broken, lonely. No, don't, don't say that. I know it's this Dr. Johnson. Because this is not the first time you're talking about him. One cute doctor in my uh, office. You love him. Well, I like him. But he will not like me back. Hey. He will not like anybody back, as a matter of fact. Ever since his wife died, he's just been drawn to himself, sad. Maybe he's hurting. Hurting? Yes. It's over nine years. How long does it take for one to mourn? Don't say that. It's okay. It's just that I can't help it. Just like you can't help me in the kitchen. Hmm. <clears throat> Speaking of food, I made dinner. It's a lie. Hey, I cannot wait to see the poison you made. Hey, don't call my Super food sauce and pepper. <laughs> don't finish the food. I'm not eating now. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I used to believe. The losing you was the worst thing that could happen to me. But in, in reality, living without you is so much worse than I think. Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love. I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone. Oh, baby, it's ready to go. <laughs> baby. Mm. Mm. Honey. What is it? I am expecting your baby. <laughs> you okay, Mama? I am serious. I went to the hospital to run a test and the doctor confirms I'm positive. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Baby! For real? I am going to be a father! That's what's up! <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you. Yeah! yeah! My baby's coming! Leaving without you. It's so much worse than I think Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door When are you coming home? It's taking very long it's taking very long. Hi, dear. My name is Onyechi Ibokwe. You can call me Miss Oni, and I want to be your friend. Hello. So, why are you not playing with your friends? I was told your driver came to pick your son, Junior. 
No, you don't tell me that. Okay? Because there's no way he could have been here. I personally sent him on an errand, and that's why I'm here to pick my thumb. Mr. Grant, just calm down. Calm down. If any of such happens, the, the, the class teacher and the security man should be aware of it. Oh, God. What, what sort of pathetic excuse is that? We have a standard in the school. All right? A standard. No teacher leaves the class until the last child has gone home. So if anything has gone wrong, the security man should be aware of it. So let's go to the security post and ask the security man what went wrong. Just calm down, calm down. Everything will be fine. <clears throat> James! 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 Sir, sir. Uh, let me see the visitor's check-in book. Genius driver, did he sign in or not? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. James, give me a yes, sir. answer. Did he sign in? Uh, uh, probably, sir. Probably what? Hey, this sign can see. <clears throat> Did he sign in? Uh, sir, you see, uh, the, the, the truth is this, eh? He, uh, Junior, uh, Junior and his friends, they, they, they went out. What? He, he went out with friends. I can't believe this. No, 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 I'll be back. So why did you tell me they signed him out? So it was. Uh, it was what? The, the... And we're sleeping. Uh, if anything happens to that boy, if anything there happens to that boy, hey, so I got you. So I got one mother. Hey. Besides my son to me. It's okay, he's doing great. He just sustained minor bruises. Nothing serious. You need to take better care of him. Thank God. Doctor, I do. I do. Damn that anti-retant headmaster Sam. Doctor, please, can I see him now? Okay, come with me. I'm sorry, Rita. I am not happy with the events of yesterday. I do not understand. How does that affect me if your security man was so incompetent? Yes, it does, because you weren't supposed to leave. You weren't supposed to leave until your last... Uh, 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 oh, please spare me that. Spare me. Ah. Rita, I have so many complaints about you. Even only the new teacher had to complain about you. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Only. Only complained about me? Yes. And what's the meaning of that? Why is she prognosing into my business? I mean, when, when that one starts, is she mad? Okay? In this school, we shall see. Uh, you, you just have to calm down. Please don't even tell me to calm down. You were there and she was telling you everything. You stood there and listened to her. Now you're telling me to calm down. Don't even tell me to calm down. And as for this, you are totally cut off. Uh, uh, Rita, Rita, come. You, you can't cut me off from that. Ah, no, now. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, God. You're making them cut me off. Hmm. You're still on this research? <laughs> yes. Rounding up, though. This little girl must really mean a lot to you. Anyway, I'm off to work. Um, that reminds me. <sighs> Uncle Brian called today. He said he'll be coming to Nigeria in a week's time. Are you serious? Hey, relax. He's not chasing us out. Okay. At least not yet. He'll just be back for, say, a week or two and do a few things and go back. My regards to him. Hmm. Tell him Oni, Oni Nechi is saying hi to him. Be specific. And if he wants to buy anything, tell him that we are okay. We Look don't at this anything. one. You're not even happy he's allowing you to stay in his house. You're the man. 
Man, I will never. Man, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm off to work just before I go late. Be safe. All right. <laughs> What are you doing here? Is this your class? So you left your class and came here to listen to this rubbish all in the name of teaching? You're not scared of me, right? You're not scared. And you? All you do is to poke nose into things that doesn't concern you. Go ahead. But we shall see in the school. As for you, when you finish this nonsense, I am waiting for you in the class. You will come and meet me. You, you will come and meet me. Rubbish. Ah, uh -uh. are you leaving already? Eh, hey, I'm not leaving. I am going to have my bath. I am not leaving. What kind of question is that? But there are still children in your class. Are you going to leave before them? Oh. So because whoever it is or their guidance are supposed to come pick them from school has refused to do so, I should put my life on hold because of it. I will do no such thing. You know, this is exactly what you did the last time with Greg Jr. <laughs> Onye. Onye, you don't have any right whatsoever to judge me. You don't have that right. I know you. We know you. Do you understand? You think I do not know the reason you took a break while we're still in school? You think I don't know? Oh, you thought it was a secret. Look at you. you. You think you could just come up and pretend to be an angel from heaven and everybody will fall at your feet and start loving you? I know your story. We all know your story in this school. Do you understand? Don't play that dumb with me. What's that? Oh, okay. No problem. I see that um, you have nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing to do with your time. That's why you are going about looking for who is going and who is not going. You might as well go inside, pick the students, take them to your class, and take good care of them. And stop disturbing me! <laughs> Seriously, I do not know how she got certified as a teacher. Nonsense. Yo, oh, hello. Excuse me? It is not my fault they can't take care of her. Uh, no, 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 no. That means your company is full of incompetent people. That's all. No, 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 don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. She's just a child. You better go and employ people that are uh, competent to take care of, take, take care of uh, uh, whatever it is, please. And stop telling me that, please. Ah! Okay, I can't talk. I can't continue talking to you, Oga. Okay? Please, I can't continue. To, to, uh, to, to, uh, 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 uh. Thing that could happen to me. 
but in, in reality, living without you is so much worse than I think, now I realize I'm incomplete without your love. I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door Jane? Jane? Hey, workaholic. Jane, I am so sorry it was all my fault. It's not. That's how fate works. You don't have to blame yourself. And no one should. But I do. I could have changed it. No, you can't. My love, my story has ended. But has just begun. She doesn't get me not like you do. It is hard for me to get to her. You know how much I suck at such things. I am sorry. Jane. Please, I need you back. I need you back in my life. I'm sorry. You know I love you so much. Please. You promised me forever. You did. You promised me forever, Jane. What are you doing? Jane, you promised me forever. You're hurting me. You promised me. Nurse, be off me. You're hurting me. Come on, you promised me. Nurse, Jane, you're hurting me. You promised me forever. Come off me, please. Dr. Johnson. Madam, are you okay? That's not fine. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Thank you. That could happen to me But in, in reality Living without you Is so much worse than I think Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door When are you coming home? It's taking very long It's taking very long I'll never be the same Cause everything around me Is a reflection of you Cause I I see you everywhere, see you everywhere. And when I think it's real I realize it's in my head Yes, I realize I'm incomplete Without your love supposed to be alone Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door yeah. When are you coming home? It's taking very long Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone 
Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. It's taking very long. Whoa. Yeah. Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. It's taking very long. It's taking very long. Let us do this. Take him out of here. He may wait. I need to. Doctor Johnson, go out. Doctor, we need to. I need to. I need to be. I can do it. Our best. 
We tried everything we could. Everything in the book. Everything practicable. We tried. But we could not save her life. Very long. It's taking very long. I'll never be the same Cause everything around me Is a reflection of you Cause I I see you everywhere I am sorry We tried all we could and when I think it's real Please I realize it's in my head Be it. Yes, I realize I'm incomplete Without your love Yes, now. It seems like yesterday. She promised she will come back to me. She didn't. She didn't come back. You need to move on. Please. Then teach me how to do that. Teach me. And I will gladly learn. <laughs> She's everything! <laughs> everything I want in a woman is in her! She left you a gift. A girl child to take care of. A memory to remember forever. The memory hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Bring back my wife. It's very simple that even a kindergarten can solve it comfortably. I want you to take your miserable self to the board and solve it. Now! for a minute. Okay. Look at you see you. I will kill you in this class. 
If you refuse to learn out, by the time I come back and you're not done with this, I will kill you. Rubbish. Rita, why are you being harsh on her? She doesn't need it. Excuse me? What are you trying to say? That child needs special care and attention. Ah, because she doesn't know anything. Right? I know what I'm saying. I'm a professional. Eh? For what? Oh, please, this is this. Miss Professional, spare me that rubbish. I mean, what's the meaning of this? Please, leave me alone. Let me do my job diligently. Stay in your space and let me stay in mine. Please, don't teach me my job. Listen, I know you. I know you too well, so don't come here and pretend for oh, me. Oh, please, don't bring my personal life into this. If you do not want me to bring your personal life into this, leave me the hell alone. Nico, leave me alone. Excuse me. Uh -uh. Will you teach yours and teach mine? What is all this? You are here to teach. Same with me. So do you and let me do me. Leave me alone in this school. Mm. What kind of rubbish is that? Eh? You will do your job and as well do mine. Something is definitely wrong with you. And you? You are still here. Sandra, you are still standing there and you cannot even solve this ordinary mathematics. If I touch you now, you will die. I, with the anger in me, if I so touch you, you will die. Will you go to your seat and sit down? Go! Watch your bubble! Are you a cock? Look at this goat. Are you anything better than her? You are laughing. If I see those teeth, eh? If I see them again, I will flog you to, till blood comes out from your body. Fool. Idiot. I said go to your seat. Dummy. Now you, get up. Go and solve it. Now! Go and solve it. If you get it right, you flood her 20 now. Get, get it right. Let's see. He hates me. He doesn't want anything to do with me. Your dad? Yes. If you tell me why, I promise to keep it secret. Mom left. She traveled to a place she's never going to return. Because of me. Why is that? Because I'm dumb. I can't even take care of myself. Even my caregivers left me. Nobody wants me. My dad is always angry and crying. You're not dumb. You're one of the most beautiful and brightest child I know. And everybody wants you. No. Not my dad. He hates me. He doesn't want me. He's always angry and sad. I don't want to go back home again. <laughs>
That could happen to me, but in in reality, living without you is so much worse than I think. Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love. I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone. Every day I look up for the footsteps at the door. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. It's taking very long. Taking very long. I. I'll never be the same, 'cause everything around me is a reflection of you. 'Cause I, I see you everywhere. See you everywhere. And when I think it's real, I realize it's in my head. Yes, I realize I'm incomplete without your love. Supposed to be alone. Every day I look up for the footsteps at the door. Yeah. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love. I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone. Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. It's taking very long. Whoa. Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door. When are you coming home? It's taking very long. It's taking very long. It's taking very long. Sa. Doctor, Doctor Johnson, here's the file you requested for. Have you lost a loved one before? I mean, someone so close to your heart, someone whom you built your world. Not really, sir. But we've all felt pain at some point in our lives. Not to compare your pain with mine, but pain is pain. And it changes us all. But I just want you to know that Every dark cloud has a silver lining. Mine doesn't. Even if it did, I can't see it. I love. I loved Jane. Disputed Lisa. And I'm sure she wouldn't want you to keep on hurting yourself like this. 
She wants you to move on. There are people around you who loves you. All you need to do is look. Remember I told you about Dr. Johnson's breakdown at work the other day? Yes. So, today, um, we had what one might call an intimate conversation. And when I say one, I mean more. Okay. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Then me now. What's up? What happened? Um, he opened up to me. Like I told you, he hardly does that. Wow. And guess what? What? I think he kind of smiled when I touched him at the end of the conversation. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> you know, Sandy is doing better. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> and she's opening up to me one step at a time, Aww. which is a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you should dance to this music. Ah, babe, babe, Come on. Eh, eh. Shake that booty. I don't know how to dance, did you? Mm. Hey, well. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how to dance. Teach me now. <laughs> Let's go. This house is so messy, so untidy, dusty. Look at how scattered everywhere is. I need a caregiver. I need a caregiver in this house. I need a caregiver. Ah, oh, I need a caregiver. Shit, I need to clean up the whole house. I need to, I don't, oh man, how do I get one? I need a caregiver. Sandy! 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 Oh my god! Sandy! Shit! Oh! Sandy! Uh. Sandy! Sandy! Uh. 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 Sandy! I... I'll never be the same Cause everything around me is a reflection of you Cause I, I see you everywhere See you everywhere And when I think it's real I realize it's in my head Yes, I realize I'm incomplete without your love Whoa. I don't know how long am I supposed to be alone Every day I look out for the footsteps at the door yeah. When are you coming home? It's taking very long Sir? Yeah? I 
know I'm new here, but I'm uncomfortable with Sandy's absence. It's almost a week. I don't know, have you tried reaching the parents? Oh yes, I've been calling her her father, but he's not taking my calls. Okay. Oh well, we just have to wait for some few more days. If not in positive, then we have to take um, necessary actions. Okay, sir. So, uh, the file, um, uh, <laughs> did I you get those, um... I have warned you, but you don't listen. Next time, I will beat you blue black. Follow me! Stupid boy, enter the class. Rita, enter. Come and get inside. Stupid boy. Rubbish. Excuse me for a minute, please. I'm just coming from the principal's office. Please, have, have you heard from Sandy's dad? As what? As their communicator or mouthpiece of the school? It's not that. Then what? It's just that I'm concerned. Where what? are you coming from? Get inside the class. Get, come on, get inside. Get inside the class. In, get inside the class. Easy. Stupid boy. What is wrong with all these kids? Take it easy now. It's not even break time. Ah. Ah. As I was saying, I don't know. Are you not concerned? One of your pupils has not been in school about a week now. And you're not concerned. You're not saying anything. Why should I be concerned? I mean, why should I say anything? Maybe the father has realized that school is not her destiny. So he decided not to waste his money anymore. But if that be the case, I will be so pained. Because of the extra pay I get from them. Lita! And to think that the man pays very, very well. Now I'm going to, I'm going to lose the whole thing because of that dumb head. Wait, are you, are you all about the money? Don't you care about the child, or rather, the kids in your care? Hmm. I'm all about the money. The child in your care. The kids in your care, rather. Please, don't even try that nonsense. Eh? What is your own problem? Respect yourself, oh. What is all this? Oh! Oh! Look at this one, oh. So because you earn as much as I do in this school, you think you can teach me my job? Oh! <laughs> Because of your master's degree, you think you're better than I am? What? Oh, please! A master's degree which I don't even know whether it is fake or not. Rubbish. Respect yourself in this school. Stay away from me. You are here to do your job. Do not poke nose in my affairs. What? What, 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 what? Leave me alone, no. Stay away from me. Rubbish. They're coming. Sir. Yeah. Please, can I have a moment with you? Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. <sighs> sir, is it possible you transfer me to basic three? Excuse me? You have no idea what she does to those children. She constantly abuses them. She hurts them emotionally. And you expect them to do well in the academics. Please, sir, I, I don't want you to get me wrong. Oh, really? I, 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 you I, what? I ask again, you what? There is no other way to explain yourself without being misunderstood. I mean, I should have known. I should have known that this was what I was signing up for when I told you there is a vacancy in this place. Rita, we are not on any sort of contest. I just want to help Sandy. No, obviously. Obviously, I see. Barely two weeks, you started working here. You're already causing up to the headmaster. Excuse me, I, I would not do such a thing. I will not excuse you. And please, spare me this sermon of yours. I thought you said you had the interest of the kids at heart. Now, what exactly are you doing? What? It's indeed a pity. See, I, uh... I guess my request won't be granted. Thank you, sir. What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of that? Oh, 
I will not take this. I cannot take this. I can't. Rita, can I talk to you? Talk about what? Honey, so you do not have master's degree to flaunt. It is now with your body. I knew that your master's degree was fake. Now get out of my class. Can you let me explain? What do you want to explain? When you have sworn to sleep with every man in this school, you have started with the headmaster. From the headmaster to the teachers. Maybe from there to even the security man. You are so shameless. You, please, just leave this place if you do not want me to call the whole school and tell them what you do. Please, take your miserable self out of this place before I shout. You know I'm a mad person. I will shout though. It's okay. Please, go. Go! Take your miserable self out of my class. <sighs> what is this girl trying to do? She's trying to move me away from where I'm already standing. Ah, oh, it's not done. It's not done. God. Will I be wrong if I presume that she has you under her grip? Excuse me. Oh, please save me the pretense. First, she convinced you into paying her the same amount I receive. As if that wasn't enough, she wants my class. After bombarding you with so much lies that I'm so incompetent. Now, Rita, Rita, Rita. Why? Why do you allow jealousy to take a great grip on you? Why? I said it. I mean, I wasn't wrong when I said that you have already started falling for her. What kind of a man are you? Can you hear yourself? <laughs> oh, I see. So because I refused to have sex the last time, you already started playing balls with Oni so you could have it with her? Oh my goodness! Oh, Rita, this is so Rita, disgusting! Rita, no, 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 no. You sounded disgusting and insensitive right now. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. Can you swear that you're not falling for her? Of course you can't even swear. It's written all over you. Rita, at this point, I, I, I would want you to leave my office. Excuse like, me? Right now, please. You wish I am going no way. Throw me out as you can. Throw me out. Rubbish. Rita, you, 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 All right, so give to the secretary, all right? Then all right, tell sir. Dr. Mbuna about to discharge the patient. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Good afternoon, ma. Thank you, mm, Old lady. My sexy baby. Mm -hmm. oh. You're looking so good. Thank you. Easy, easy. <laughs> All right. My beautiful old lady. May you stop ah. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. I brought you lunch. I know, I know. I hope you got enough for two. Because you know I'm going to be a father soon. So I need to gather the energy that I need, you know, to, to be able to... <laughs> I don't want to blame you. But, well, I... I also came for my checkup with Dr. Austin. You see? Baby, what is wrong with me checking you? I am the one who put it in there. Of I know where my child is. All right? I know where to touch and where not to touch. Besides, me checking you will be so efficient. Don't be naughty. Don't be naughty. It's all right, baby. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, I, I I'll see you later. Let me go and see him. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put a call through to him. Yeah. Because... I don't want stories. He has to be careful. Right? Don't be jealous. Oh, baby. <laughs> mm. Okay. Take care of yourself. Be good, right? Yeah. You old lady. Look at you. <laughs> Easy, um, right? Okay. <sighs>
but I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. What exactly is this girl trying to do to me? I will not let this happen. I will not. What do I do now? What do I do? Okay. I think I will have to give him that which he has always wanted. This is really wrong. Where was the last time we had it? Um, here. It was right here in this office. Right? And we almost got caught. Do not say that. Hmm. Prince, you agree now? Huh? Agree so that I can enjoy myself. I'm part of this game. The school is over right now, and the students are gone. Just you and I. No, 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 no. But what? It, it is still wrong. Don't tell me that you're not in the mood. No, sir, Don't do just, that. Just calm down, Rita. Rita, please. Rita, 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 please. Rita, please. Rita, please. Rita! Excuse me, ma'am. Um, sorry, please, I'm looking for my daughter, sir. Um, you? Can't you remember me? Uh, the doctor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. I thought you had integrity. But it is obvious, all men are the same. I didn't come here to judge you. Already you're judging me. Would you blame me? In an office! A primary school office for that matter! You're in your senses! It didn't even occur to you that a people might budge in and meet you in such compromising position and that would change his or her mindset entirely about sex. I... No justification. I just came here 
to tell you I won't be here tomorrow. Yeah. Any reason for that? I am done here. I pray I find it, Sandra. Else, you and your sex partner will have me to contend with at the law courts. With Sandra? Ask your sex partner. Nonsense. Oh. Babes. Babes. You're crying. What's the problem? You were rumbling over the phone. I could barely hear you. What's going on? Talk to me, only you? I saw him. I saw him today. After so many years, I saw him. You saw who? You're not making any sense. Talk to me. Who did you see? He saved me. He saved me. And he, he didn't get it. Thank you. Who's, who saved your life? Dr. Johnson. Sandy's dad. He saved my life. After my ordeal with Tony, I went for an abortion that almost took my life, if not for him.
rescued me when no one else would. He paid my hospital bill and made sure they carried out a proper operation on me. And after the surgery, he was gone. It's the reason I didn't lose more than just my womb. Abortion. Lost your womb and yes. you didn't even tell me. Why? I couldn't tell anyone. Besides, I didn't want to burden you with my load. That was why I took a break in school and career switch. Now you see why I am drawn to kids. Because I can't have a child of my own. <laughs> Second chance at life. No! <laughs> She's missing. I can't find her. It needs me now. I, I can't help. I can't find his child. Don't you understand? No one will fault you. I can't help him. No, no, no one will fault you. You have done more than enough. I've seen you do your best. Stop. 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 I need to find I know this is too much, but please stop crying. <laughs> I need to Baby. Hello. I think I would prefer you drive me. Come on, honey, you can do it yourself, alright? It's part of exercise. You're seven months, you need it. Hmm? Your job's being lazy. I'm not lazy, baby. You just want me around you all the time. Of course. That's it. Mm. <laughs> I can't get enough of you. I know. Same here, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Okay? You can do that. Mm? Don't worry. When you return, I promise to work on your spines. Okay? Mm. What does your back pain? I'm going to make it work one after the other. And I am going to make sure you come like three times for me. <laughs> So you can sleep like a mad dog. That's good. <laughs> Is that a promise? Yeah, baby. Uh huh. Easy, easy, easy. <sighs> Old lady. <laughs> Daddy. I know you are going to miss Look me. Look at your jewelry and your watch. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, I know. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Please help me put this. All right. I can do this for you. All right. Thank you very Beautiful. much. Don't miss me too much. I won't, baby. Okay. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Okay, love. You have a wonderful day, all right? Thank you. Yeah. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> Easy. Oh, my key. Okay, yeah? yeah. Okay. Okay, bye bye. All right, baby. Yeah. Be careful. Ah. I need to have a good rest right now. Shit. Oh. Oh. Shit. I need some rest. Man. Ah. Oh. Ah, you forgot your pulse, baby. Damn it. Oh. Hmm? I'm not supposed to look. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's alright. It's alright. Hello, dear. Hello, baby. Bye, honey buns. 
<laughs> Maybe you forgot your white paws. Really? I can do without it. Mm, I know you. Are you sure you didn't purposely do it just to come back home and be with me? But I gave you the option to drive me and you refused. <sighs> come on, don't be naughty. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yes. Uh, please, I'm driving. Uh, you don't, don't worry, you concentrate. You concentrate. I love you, I love you, I love you. Mwah, mwah. Let me concentrate. Please, I'm driving. Baby, tell me you love me too and concentrate. Baby, I love you. I said I love you. I love you so very much. I love you. Allow me to concentrate, please, please. Mwah, 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 please. <laughs> Jane, I think it's time I forgive myself. It's going to be hard, but I have to. I can't hold on forever. If not for anything, but for the sake of our daughter Sandy, she deserves a better father. I love you so much, Jane, and I will always love you. But I have to, I have to love Sandy. I have to make it work with Sandy so we can always make you proud. So how is she doing? She's doing great. She's sleeping inside her room. I just want to thank you for yesterday. I was just doing my job. Same way you should have done yours as a father. I beg your pardon? She told me everything. How you neglected her. Treated her like she's not your daughter. You couldn't even tell her the truth about her mother's death. You made her feel like it was her fault her mother left. What kind of a father does that? Point all your emotional trauma on her. Honestly, I didn't mean to. I was selfish and hurting. I loved Jane so much, and Sandy suffered because of it. You helped me when no one else would. Why don't you let me help Sandy? You both need all the help you can get. Um, Dr. Johnson, she is right. No man is an island. I know that when you lost your wife, when she left, she left a deep hole in your heart. But trust me, Sandy is more than enough to fill that hole. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sandy means the whole world to me. And in other news, the headmaster of Gapsalina Primary School, Mr. Sam Okafo, and a teacher in the school, Ms. Rita Edosie, were both arrested today for sexual misconduct, embezzlement of school funds, and endangerment of the kids in their care. I used to believe that losing you was the worst thing that could happen to me. But he in reality, living without you is so much worse than I think. Now I realize I'm incomplete without your love. 
Taking them. 